15, 16 season to be able to win the championship um, with Adelaide was, was fantastic. My first championship uh, in football. And to be able to do it with my hometown club was, was amazing in, in front of friends and family. To win the championship and the Premier's Plate uh, in the way that we did and, and host the grand final in front of 52, 53,000 people at Adelaide Oval was, um, was amazing. It's probably the best um, atmosphere I've, I've been involved with in a football game. There's a different aura around these matches and I think the more experience you have, the, the more adept you are in, in dealing with the situations that arise. Um, so it's, it's much more cutthroat and, and you really can't make mistakes in, in these games. If you do, you get punished. So to have the experience that we have in our group with some of the players that have won uh, trophies, I think that can really help us. We're about to play an elimination final and you don't want to go for the ball. Yeah, that's, you're right, you're right. I just hope that we show a little bit more motivation at training. I believe in this group and the football ability that we have and the quality we have, um, but we have to be able to, to show the heart and to be able to, to beat the other teams in our individual battles. Good boys, come on. Keep that standard. If it breaks down, fix it. It's been uh, a really good year, uh, but I'm hoping that we can finish it off in, in style and, and go all the way. Goodwin to take. Wow. Wow. That is some free kick. And he is some player. I'm excited. All the work we've done this year, tonight, is, you know, another step to where we want to get to. And the key to our success has been we work together, we fight together, and we never give up. So it's important tonight that we don't lose our perspective, don't lose our focus of where we want to get to and what we need to do to get to there. You know, they'll generally push up and then they'll either be lecky or Naboo will look to come off the line and challenge for that ball in there. So if we can get one day in those positions to do the challenging so we can keep our back four intact. It's a semi-final. We have to show more, more hunger than we did in the last game. This is a tougher test. And we know that if we stick to our game plan, we can fucking beat them. We can beat anyone in this fucking league. <laughs> Tonight, Cooper Stadium dreams again as they look to roar the Reds on to another end-of-season showpiece occasion. But it's not going to be an easy task to get there. Run, 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 run! Lecky letting the ball roll onto him. It's McLaren. And Joe Gauchy makes the save with the feet. Easy, 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 easy. Floated forward towards Smackoff. Great header. Oh, and another chance. Mark! 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 Metcalf. Little one two with Lekios. A great save from Gauchi to deny Connor Metcalf the opening goal. Why are we complicating things, man? Lockie Brook to pinch it. Ibasuki on the right. Here's George Blackwoods, and finally some work for Glover to do. Oh, Minerales came lunging over the top of Goodwin. In fairness, it's ended in good enough spirit. She's going to come here and play on the wing, OK? I want you to be direct, but you've got to also do a defensive job as well if we're defending, yeah? OK, work hard, enjoy it, and get us a fucking goal, yeah? Next time it's out. That's uh, for kiddo. Brought down by Yengi. Just shrugs off Gamolka with ease. Still going, and is there a touch on the edge of the box by Gamolka? Fucking hell! Hey! King Yi! King Yi! You gotta be fucking kidding me, don't you? Fuck's sake, he's taking him out! Five minutes to go. Jamison's delivery, which had a nice tail on it. It drops here for Lecky. What a save from Gauchi. 
Get into a square for the third time this season. These two cannot be separated here at Cooper Stadium. It is a result that arguably favours City with the return leg to come at Amy Park on Sunday. What up, PK? Cheers. Cheers. Jeff, cheers, mate. No, cheers. Thanks, man. I just don't understand that a little bit. You know, they take their time with throw-ins, they um, goal kicks. If you're the top yeah. team, you should be playing the uh, tempo, yeah. I, I find that strange. So you want me to just turn the knife a little bit more into that one? Yeah, look, it's, it's finals football, isn't it? I think the pressure's on both sides. Um, you know, it's, I suppose the pressure is on them that they still haven't beaten a top four side. You know, we'll go to Melbourne full of confidence. We know we've won there before, so, you know, we'll go there and, and hopefully put it in a very similar performance, but get a couple of goals and get the win. Hi, hello, how are you? I'm very good. You know, but on our day, you know, we'll fight. And I think you saw that tonight and all season, we, we fight and um, we don't give up. And we play, you know, we try to play an attractive brand of football. Um, and if, you know, if we manage to get the result on, on Sunday, that'd be great. Um, but, you know, the boys should be proud of, you know, what we've done this season, but we still believe that we've got a lot more to do. He was always around, like, oh, balls and stuff, soccer balls, and I think he's... Since he was born, he was born in Brazil, so can you imagine, huh? Family, here we go. The pressure's on. <laughs> For Bernardo, Blackwood wants it. Bernardo still going. Oh, he's wrong-footed, Birigini! And the 18-year-old, whose dad was a legend at Adelaide United, has secured them surely safe passage to the semi-finals. I moved here when I was three. And obviously he signed here straight away, so he started playing when I was about three, and then he retired in 2014. So yeah, it's, it was a, a long time of him being a footballer, but I do remember little bits, yeah. It's good work though by Cristiano. Third goal would make it tricky for them. Oh, they've got a third goal from Cassio! Well, being the first father-son combination at Alley United, it's, um, it's a really good achievement. Uh, us as a family, we hold it close to us because it's something that I've worked hard for. Good. Yeah, I always go to, went to the trainings, went to uh, the stadium all the time, even when it was like empty with my dad. You know. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, I mean, I see the, the kids going to change all the time, the sons and daughters of the players, but yeah, sometimes I look and I was like, far out, now I'm here playing and I'm seeing kids here, they could possibly be in my position in a couple of years playing, and yeah, just shows how, yeah, time flies, I guess. Nice and easy. One touch. One touch only. Good. One touch. For the most part, you know, you've got to come in and work on both parts of your game, you know, attacking and defensive. Obviously, if the game's, we're winning 1-0, and we're, like, we're getting pressured, you know, I've got to uh, be 100% on my defensive side and then maybe even if we get some chances, obviously go for attacking, but it just really depends on the situation of the game. Still going Ryan Kitto, surely! And it's Bernardo who finally gets the reward. I would be so proud to, yeah, like he, he would do one thing in his first year as a professional player that I haven't done here for seven, seven years, seven and a half years. years. So it should be, yeah, really good. I, I think it would be not only for for him, but I think for me, like doing, I said that before as well, it's like, it looks like for me it's an un, unfinished business. It's a second leg in the low at their home ground. Obviously it's nervous, but it's the nervous that, as a footballer, what you work for, you know? You want to be nervous like that, you want to play games like that, because that's what grows you as a footballer. Oh, oh, oh. oh 3-0 done. <laughs> Gone. See you later, mate. Everyone's excited, everyone's buzzing today at training and, um, you know, except for myself, I haven't played too many minutes, but the rest of the boys have played lots of minutes throughout the year, so their bodies, they're able to cope well with these uh, quick turnarounds. Make a couple of changes. I'll bring Cassini in for Hero. Bring Zach in for, for Lockie. 
and Zach is put through here. Oh, what have you got roughly for session time? Uh, 10, 16, 28, 40. 40. Do you think Melbourne City can stop you tomorrow? I don't think so. Um, I don't think there's anyone in the league that can stop me, you know, when I'm on my, de when I'm on my day and uh, when I'm fit and firing to go. I feel like I'm one of the best strikers in the league. So now I'm here. Is, um, it's on your side, Lecky. Is Lecky going to come all the way here? And if he comes all the way to here and gets in the half-half, he doesn't even have to play you. He just go bang, straight into there or there. Or if the speed, of, and because the pass is shorter, the speed on the pass, as soon as I've had my touch and opened up, he's got there, you can just go bang. So nothing um, sort of changes for us, OK? So same principle, uh, we're blocking the two sixes. So when the, one of their sixes pushes high onto here, we can let him go and that then releases us to go a little bit higher to go and press. But when we're this close together, we can play here and then we can... And if we stay a little bit more central with the six, it's so much easier for us to play around those two. It's a great chance for us, guys. They're struggling. Like, when you look at the, the football that they played, they didn't play that well. We limited to them, them to playing to going more direct, and we know they're going to play a little bit more direct to, to get into those wide areas. And if we can improve that little bit of more, more pressure in and around the mid-third and improve our speed of ball movement from changing from one side to the other side, we'll get the result we want. All right? Here we go. Our lads wear a GPS unit, so that tracks, you know, how far they move, how fast they move, how fast they accelerate. Um, they're pretty high tech these days. And we can, from that, then track their data on a daily basis, weekly basis, monthly basis, and sort of see whether they are performing the output that we expect them to, um, and also whether they're um, in need of, you know, further training, basically, as well. So, yeah, one of the big roles is maybe sort of checking on some of the guys, like the substitutes and, and the guys who don't get many match minutes and making sure that, that they're getting some of the top-up football work and conditioning work to ensure they're fit. But our strength and conditioning coach is responsible for warming up the lads' side of the pitch, so making sure they're, they're working in intensity on the side of the pitch that, that when they come in the game, that they don't feel sort of out of pace with the game or out of breath. We found that's helpful to, if they come on to the pitch, they're obviously, one, not going to hopefully get injured because they're warm and ready to go, but two, can perform at the best of their ability and, and come on and make an impact. It's always good to get away as a team, to de develop that bond and, and that understanding. Because when you, you know, you spend, you know, 24 hours with each other in a hotel, you sort of develop, you know, that strong mateship. You know, they don't have other things that they would have to do at home, maybe, or, you know, friends or family. Um, here it's just um, the playing group. Um, we have a schedule um, that, you know, for breakfast and, and for pre-match, and so, and other than that, you know, you, you've, you're relaxing and getting yourself ready to, to go out and play. I've been amongst a couple, a couple teams in, in my career so far, and I think this year it's been really good. Everyone, um, you know, there's no one in a team where you can say, I don't want to be next to him. I think everyone, you know, can be next to each other, room with each other here and be comfortable to be with each other. I'm sure you will give me my birthday present tomorrow. Um, that's all I want. Get to the grand final and win. In Adelaide, everyone has to work for everything. So, you know, we have a really good culture here. It's no one, when everyone comes here, everyone has to, has to learn to be in the culture. We don't have people coming here and thinking, oh, I'm too good for this person, I'm too good for the club. I think everyone's, yeah, a really good team. It's been a really good uh, year this year for everyone. It's really special and, and this time of year as well, you know, the finals campaign, I was a fan in the, you know, when, when they won it in 2016 and, you know, to be a fan and, and a part of that, I sort of know what it means and, and how, how it feels to be in a grand final and, you know, to have the fans 
the fans, or to be a fan in the stands, um, watching your club at a grand final is, is really special. So, you know, now's the opportunity to play in one. Every fucking moment is 100%. Switched on at all times. All of the tactical things are right. But at the end of the day in these games, it'll come down to who wants it more, who's willing to give that extra 1%, who's willing to track back and make that fucking lung busting run to get into the box to defend it or the other way to get in the box to score. Believe in yourselves and give that extra 1%. We'll fucking get it today. Delivers. Good ball in. Header from Blackwood. Let's go, Zach. Zach on the shoulders. Let's run, Zach. Give him go. Give him go. Give him go. And go. Meg, but it's Kitto who may have the last laugh with Yengi. The flag stayed down. Cricket out. And Juan Day, I think there must be a bit of blood there. Yes, more than a bit. And Juan Day is not happy with Ali Reza Fagani. Yeah, got him with the elbow. You sit up, Juan Day. Can I get you to sit up? Here's the left hand. Nice. Yeah, like a warrior now. Could it happen here with Club? He gets the shot on it. Club, what a finish! Oh! oh fucking hell! And Zach Club justifying his selection in the starting 11 with the wonderful piece of improvisation. And he goes and celebrates with the Reds travelling support. Let's not get caught straight away. It's coming along to your side. It's Goodwin's ball in. It's a good run getting in front of his man from Yengi. Oh, he's turned Curtis Good. And it's cleared off the line by Connor Metcalf. It's time to throw caution to the wind for City. They're preparing another attacking change. As Naboo is on the front foot here, the cross in is a good one. Back pass to the I can put. I was just to glue in there, up next to Cass for a little bit. Do you think? And uh, give me Louis. Oh, sit down, sit down. Give me Bernardo. Bernardo. And bring Zach off, yeah. And Goody, Goody, go in there. You got Goody. You play ten. Fucking hell, Goody! And again, there is no time. And this match will head to extra time to try and find next weekend's grand finalist. Who wants to take on Western United? Just got to keep grinding it away, guys. We just got to keep grinding, keep working, OK? We've got to do the, just keep doing the shift. Hey, you just got to be mindful that every chance they get, they're just playing McLaren in behind all the time. OK, so just be mindful of that all the time. Come on, boys, hey? 30 minutes of fucking hard work and we get to the fucking dream that we want, yeah? So let's put it in, work hard, fucking give everything you've got. Yep, come on, boys, it's us. Yeah. from Metcalf, McLaren getting front position, little touch back for Metcalf, deflected, McLaren! And less than two minutes into extra time, and Jamie McLaren finally gets his name on the score sheet, and it could be the goal that sends Melbourne City to the grand final. Javi Lopez. Back outside, Bernardo again against Jemison. Man, we've got fucking five guys in the box and he fucking dribbles the fucking thing. Goody! Goody! Tell him to fucking put the ball in the box! That's it. 
this time. It's the final whistle. And the champions keep their double hopes alive. They are into the grand final. Cheers, all the best, mate. For the third season in a row. And a heroic Adelaide, who were for so long in this contest, have just been overrun. <laughs> Try, mate. We'll do it next year. Next year. <laughs> we'll get there next year. <laughs> It's a hard one to take. Um, you know, the, the amount of work that the boys just not put in tonight for the over the course of this whole year, and we knew it would, it would be tough. You know, um, crucial times in games we just haven't, you know, killed games off, and you know, and we paid the ultimate price tonight for that. Okay, we have to use these moments to make us stronger, to get to the goal that we want next year. All right, so be proud. You know, we've come a long way and we've done exceptionally well. So you've got to be proud of that. So enjoy yourselves, OK? Um, you've worked hard. You, you deserve to look back and reflect on the season with good memories. So well done. It didn't go our way, but as I say, Enjoy it. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> to get better, you know, sometimes you've got to go through some pain. And the boys, you know, they'll respond to that. We try to play an attacking brand of football and have a go at teams, and that, that won't change. It's just about making some small changes to the way that we've played so we can go all the way next year.